How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's week one of 2023, the first update video for Horizon 5 and there's quite a few things to talk about. Are we getting a Japan expansion? Are we getting a bunch of Japanese cars? There's lots to talk about. If you do enjoy these videos guys, these update videos and these discussions, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single weekly upload. So what are we talking about today? Well very quickly let's just go over all of the Twitter updates we've had so far about Forza this week. Over on Forza Support, they have identified an issue with the Lamborghini Sian Roadster, displaying the incorrect gear indicator number. If you have a look on screen, you can see he's actually in 7th gear, but it's showing 8th gear. So they've identified that issue. And other than that, we have a Ken Block sort of tribute over on the normal Forza Horizon Twitter. Rest in peace, Ken Block. Um, other than that, there's not much Twitter update. We have the main topic of the video, which I'm very excited to talk about, and that is the Japanese automotive update. We're currently in Series 16, which is Fordzathon, and we already know that on the coming soon page of Fordzathon, it used to say Mystery Theme. This is obviously about Series 17. Well, now Fordzathon has begun today. Series 16 has started. They have changed the coming soon page, and it now says Japanese Automotive. New cars, collectible new challenges, and new props. Now, obviously, this is about Series 17. Series 17 is rumoured to be a big one for quite a while now. Or at least Playground Games have heavily hinted towards this update being a good one. You know, they've, they've, they've hyped it up a little bit with subtle clues. We all know that by now. Any information about Series 17 by any chance? Oh, it's going to be so good, the theme. And it seems like it is Japanese automotive. Now, people are already throwing the question out there. Is this the second expansion? Because we are expecting the second expansion early 2023, as Torben himself told us. Not at work building the second expansion for Forza Horizon 5, and you can expect to see it in early 2023. Is Japanese Automotive the second expansion, aka a Japan expansion? It's unlikely, and I'm going to explain why this is probably just a Japanese car update. Number one, we had a German Automotive update last year. We all know about that one. This one just seems like the same thing, but Japanese rather than German. Along with that, the Fordzathon update had a blog post posted today, just talking about the update since it's released today. And at the bottom, as usual, they sort of give us a hint, basically the same thing that it says on the coming soon page, but it says the next Forza Horizon 5 series update celebrates Japanese automotive. Uh, new cars, a new collectible, and new event lab props. Now, the way this is worded, it really does make it seem like that it's just the update that is Japanese automotive, and it's not a Japan expansion, which is a bit of a shame, which does mean that the earliest we will get this expansion is probably, I don't want to say March, March seems way too soon now, maybe April. As we've spoke about in a couple of videos back, we are expecting an Xbox Games Showcase this month, where Forza Motorsport is presumably going to be shown, along with possibly the second expansion. We were expecting it to be for February, maybe it's for March, we're not sure. But if that showcase comes, we'll obviously know more information then. So what will this Japanese automotive update contain? Now we can make quite a few guesses. It's been a while now, but the Nissan Z, the Nissan 400Z or whatever it's called, was leaked and essentially confirmed a few months ago within a Torben Tuesday. They gave us a clue for Nissan Z. Now we're still waiting for this car to be added to the game. It definitely adds up with the Japanese automotive time on, you know, the theme. So I'd say it's a certain possibility that the Nissan Z is finally coming within the Japanese automotive update. As for what else is in the update, we saw on the blog post it said there are new event lab props. That is confirmed. A new collectible. So that's not plural. So there's one new collectible. And the new cars. Now we know the Nissan Z. But the best we can do, I guess, to guess the other cars is to go to the leaked car list and just see if there are any Japanese cars on this list. If you see any Japanese cars on this list that are black or blue, maybe they will be included within the Japanese automotive update. So that's, that's, as, that's as best guess as we can have, really. What I do find interesting is now we know that Series 17 is going to be Japanese automotive, we can go to the crossword puzzle, the Torben Tuesday crossword puzzle that many of you might not know about or might have forgotten about. We've still yet to complete this. 
Um, it's got the Nissan Z on it, it's got C and Roadster, Urban Rebel, and we don't really know what the rest are. Now the words Japanese and the words automotive don't actually go anywhere on this board. I think automotive does fit in a couple of places, but I, I don't see why that would be on there. Japanese certainly isn't on there, so I really am wondering what on earth these last four things mean. I think there's a possibility that there are other Japanese cars, so if you guys can think of any Japanese cars that fit in any of these crossword lines, then it's certainly a possible solution. Now, if we take a step back a bit and think about this a little bit more, we are usually we usually over expect with updates. Now we don't want to hype this Japanese automotive update up too much because usually we, we over hype it a bit and we get a bit disappointed. So I'm personally expecting a couple of new Japanese cars, hopefully new to Forza and not really much else. Very similar to the German automotive back in March, whenever it was. People are already making sort of jokes about how they're looking forward to Porsches coming within the Japanese update since it, we're usually slightly disappointed, but I think that's just because we get our hopes up and we over expect sometimes. Please do pop it down in the comment section below what you are hoping will be in this Japanese automotive update. Do you think it could be the expansion? Is there anything that I've missed? Um, what are you hoping is going to come in Nissan Z? What do you reckon? Are you happy with it? There's a very good chance within three weeks, maybe maybe two or three weeks, we will have the Torben Tuesday for Series 17, which will obviously tell us even more information about it, probably getting into the specifics of the cars and whether it is an expansion or not, but I'm pretty damn sure it's not an expansion we'll talk more about this in a couple we'll talk more about this next week or the week after if any more information comes up but as for now that is everything we know series 17 is japanese automotive make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all later